Most of our viewing area was in the clear, but strong winds caused quite a bit of damage in the northwest part of the state. Down power lines and trees could be seen in areas of Lauderdale County. News 19's Lauren Harkson met with one family who barely escaped being crushed by a falling tree Saturday morning. It just it sounded like a, a train, and I could hear like I could hear the tree creaking, and then it just it came down. A giant tree falling on top of the place Katie Heath and her daughters called home. The wall actually moved my bed. The tree, if the wall wouldn't have moved my bed, the tree would have fell directly on me. Like, inches. Inches and moments away from something much worse. That's my closet that you're shooting into, by the way. In my laundry room. For days now, Heath has had trouble getting in touch with the new owner of Woodland Hills Mobile Home Park in Florence. This is a new owner. It just changed ownership from my understanding Friday, the day before this happened. They swore they were going to get us into a place, and here we are, still living in a hotel. Within the hour of our interview, Heath finally got a call back. She said that she is going to get me into a new place. The problem is the old manager has had a death in the family, and she's dealing with that, but she should be getting the list of the units available today and then she's going to give me a call back. I really kind of think that the only reason why she was telling me this is because somebody told her that the news was there. After this conversation, I called the new owner myself. Hi, Katrina. My name is Lauren Harkson. I'm a reporter for WHNT News 19 here in Huntsville. How are you doing? How are you? After giving a quick rundown of the situation. Yeah, we, I, I, we've been in, in touch and we've got her covered and that's internal park stuff. Like I said, it's just a little bit of chaos, but we've got, her, we've got it under control and I've spoken to her this morning and updated her. The update, Heath and her family should be in a new mobile home quickly, but a lot of their belongings still stuck inside trailer 19. Almost all of my clothes was in my closet and the tree fell directly over my closet. So all of my clothes are under there. Heath acknowledges while valuables are replaceable, human and cat lives we live on him. are not. <laughs> In Lauderdale County, Lauren Harkson, News 19. Hey, hey. Shh, shh, shh. No, so. Katie Heath's cousin created a GoFundMe for the family for the day of the destruction. If you feel led to help, we have a link to it on our website, whnt.com. You can also find it on our mobile news app.